Welcome to Camden's Hand and Power Tool Safety Training. Today we're going to drive home some important information on hand and power tool safety. Most people have injured themselves with the tool at least once in their lives. Unfortunately, tool accidents result in thousands of injuries each year, most of which could have been prevented by handling tools safely. The purpose of this training session is to review general reminders of safe operating procedures. This is not tool specific training. There are so many different hand and power tools and depending on what type of tool you're working with it could have the potential to cause serious injury. Power tools can be particularly dangerous since they often expose you to multiple hazards at once. They present a higher degree of danger than their non-motorized counterparts. Whether you use hand or power tools, there are some general safety practices that you should always follow. Keep tools in good condition. Use the correct tools for the job. Know how to properly operate tools before using them and always wear personal protective equipment. Never use tools unless your mind is clear and you can stay focused. Being distracted can impair your judgment. Power cords are fragile, so make sure they are in good condition. Never pick up or unplug tools by the cord. Extension cords are okay to use, but only on a temporary basis. No matter how safe you try to be, if your tools are in bad shape, you are likely to have an accident, so make sure that you keep them stored safely to help prevent damage. If there's an owner's manual, store it with the tool or in a nearby file for easy reference. Always follow manufacturer's instructions for cleaning and maintenance. Inspect your tools every time you use them. Look for damage to the body of the tool, loose or missing parts or guards, rust or corrosion. Most tool accidents involve cutting tools such as box cutters. Make sure that you sharpen and replace blades as necessary so they cut with minimal effort. If you try to cut something with a dull blade, you are likely to slip and cut yourself instead. Campton requires the use of box cutters instead of knives or razors. The box cutters must have a retractable blade and it should always be withdrawn when not in use. Circular saws must have self-adjusting guards that protect you from the blade. These guards should immediately snap back after you've made a cut. To keep the guards functioning properly after unplugging, clean any debris left behind off the hinge. Before plugging in the saw, Verify that switches are not loose or damaged and carefully inspect power cords to verify they are not cracked, frayed, or otherwise damaged. Let's talk about personal protective equipment. You need to protect yourself whenever you're using tools. Ordinary safety glasses are fine for where there is minimal risk for flying debris, but safety goggles offer a better defense. Wearing gloves when working with hand tools can protect you from cuts, abrasions, and blisters, but don't use them if they keep you from grasping a tool firmly. Gloves should not be used when using most power tools. A glove can get snagged on a blade or bit and draw your hand into the cutting edge. Loose clothing and watches and jewelry can also get caught in a tool's moving part, so always roll up your sleeves and remove loose items before beginning to work. Tool injuries often occur when workers become distracted. Never bother a coworker who is using a tool. Oh! Never leave tools on top of a ladder where they can be knocked off. Electric tools should have a UL stamp on them. Always inspect electric cords prior to use. Never run cords through standing water. Route cords away from aisles and walkways to prevent a tripping hazard. Inspect tools for deformed or missing pins or plugs, damaged outer covering or insulation, loose wires, if damaged, report to your supervisor immediately. Never use damaged tools. 
The last topic we'll talk about today is grinders. When using grinders, remember to match the grinding wheel to the speed and type of the grinder. Always conduct a ring test before mounting a grinding wheel and never use a damaged wheel. You need to replace it. Having a healthy respect for your tools and following some basic safety rules can help you to avoid injury. Let's review. Keep your tools clean and in peak condition. Use the correct tool for the job and always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment for the work that you are doing. By taking the time to keep your tools properly maintained and using them correctly, you can get your job done faster and more safely.